Okay, I'm just wrapping up the front end on our 52 Chevy Weak to Wicked for uh, Speedway Motors. Um, the cross member is a complete bolt-in deal, and this will actually work with your stock frame rails. We're using a set of frame rails from Speedway Motors. In fact, we're using a whole chassis um, all the way from the core support all the way to the rear cross member. A couple other cool things about it, it's got upper and lower control arms that are tubular. It's got this adjustable uh, spring perch. And this will work with a coil and a coil over. So whatever direction you're going, it's made for it. Disc brakes, 12-inch um, disc brakes, and uh, some stainless lines. So I'm gonna get to the rear, we're gonna wrap up the rear, and then we're gonna go on and put the cab on this uh, chassis. Just mark it bigger than it is. Okay, we're just wrapping up the rear suspension assembly uh, by putting on our bolt-on rear disc brake kit, um, getting the rotors and calipers on, and uh, just kind of fine-tuning all of this stuff. So when installing the calipers like this, one of the things that you always want to remember is to keep the bleeder at the top. Uh, your, your brake line will come in at the bottom and that allows all the air to come to, to make its way to the top. It makes it a lot easier to bleed, uh, makes it a lot easier to adjust. Uh, we'll also note that, that these rear calipers have an emergency brake provision on them so, um, so that we can get our emergency brake set up and, and working, working well. Okay, you guys can slide the whole rear, find a way. Not too much. Just like under right one here. on each side. Perfect. A little more, a little more. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, I think that's good. We got to go forward on the cab about a quarter of an inch. Keep going. A little more. Okay. Close. There we go. There we go. My hand. My neck. Yeah, the cab's going to have to come down about an inch. Oh. Okay, come forward. Right there, straight down. A little bit. That side doesn't. So you guys need to go. There you go. There you go. All right, so here we are at the end of day one. We got the old truck taken apart. We got the new chassis put together. We got the cab back on it. What else did we do? Uh, we got the bed on. We're checking the running boards. The, uh, there were some questions about the mounting locations. I think we got that dialed in. We're waiting on a transmission. That should be here tomorrow, and the engine and trans will be going in. And start wiring, get some gauges in tomorrow? Yeah, we got the steering column in. The AC's going in. So the cab should be pretty much complete. I think we're in pretty good shape. Yep. Stay tuned for day two. Thank you.